Good morning Sagittarius, welcome to your general Sun Moon Rising reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. It's a pleasure to be here. There's just a couple of points before we start the reading. First is the energies are very fluidic. Okay, some will emanate from you, some will come towards you. It depends on your personal situation. I would like you to take the bits that resonate and leave the rest. Okay, if you try and make it fit, you could end up with a wrong conclusion. And we don't want that, do we? The second point is, if you like my videos and would like a personal reading, I do do them. My email is in the description box below. OK, and feel free to contact me and I will send you all the information on booking a personal reading. So with that said, what's going on for my Sagis? What's going on for the sign of Sagittarius? Angel Spirits Guides, what is it you want Sagittarius to know? What is it you want Sagittarius to know? Well, it would seem here you feel there's some deception around you. you there's somebody, somebody here or a situation you do not trust. You're giving it very serious thought. Okay, I'm picking up for some of you a bit of a rebound energy. All right. You could be dealing with an ex, somebody who's come back from the past or you've just left a situation and or in the process of leaving a situation and i'm picking up here second thoughts a change of mind a change of heart a lot of you have been in a pretty and are still in a pretty restrictive situation i don't know maybe you're married maybe you're separated you know whatever the situation i'm picking up here spending time alone right you travel alone, some of you. Wow, what's the challenge here? Yeah, committing. Committing to, oh, committing to a single life. <clears throat> Dropping a codependency. Wow, this is the past of the card in my book. This is how I read tarot sometimes. The left hand side of the card. You're maybe seeing it as the right, but take my word, it's the left hand side. Of, it's the past. You're letting go of codependency here. You're letting go of two situations or an old lifestyle and concentrating on something completely new here. Something a lot less complicated. You realise that, you know, that what you've been doing can't carry on. You're certainly not being coerced, but it's like you're trying to juggle two situations here, two, two people maybe. I'm picking up complications as in distance for one or two of you. Or what's just hit me is one of you has actually fallen in love. You're not ready to declare that love, but uh, what I'm getting here is a change of lifestyle, giving up a previous lifestyle. Now, whether you've been free and single and got used to that, you know, traveling on, I'm getting this traveling on your own, being lonesome. All right, but I'm getting here giving up a certain lifestyle. There's somebody here pulling at your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. And you're really deeply considering what it would mean to actually live with somebody. Wow. That's just for one of you, not everybody. Okay. It would seem that you had many, many choices here. But somebody has certainly pulled at your heartstrings. Okay, could well be a soulmate, twin flame. This is what it's really all about, giving up a previous lifestyle. Wow. A lot of you are trying to put a practical application to your feelings. The shoulda, shouldn't her. The shoulda, shouldn't her. Well, this is a huge step for you. I mean, it might look with these cards that 
you know, it might look not that deep, but uh, something here has altered you in your tracks or somebody. Like I say, maybe you're in a relationship. Whatever your relative situations here, there is a soulmate involved for a lot of you. Somebody is pulling at your heartstrings and you're refusing to get stuck between two situations. So you're really seriously thinking about what you're going to give up and who you want to be with. Now, you could need to rebudget your money, but there's, I don't know, somebody is, there's, the chemistry is definitely there. And you're in the process of bringing everything to that kind of that, like that fiery climax, passionate wise. This is like something you can't resist. You're trying, but it's just too strong. It's just too strong. Maybe you are dealing with somebody from the past. You didn't pay attention in the past. And there's been a part in other ways. You may be gone on to do different things. You know, but I'm getting the last three years, things have been on the change. There's a better understanding. Maybe for some of you, there is a third party situation. Okay, that could be children. Like I say, you could be married and separated. All right. Maybe you've been on dating sites. But there's a... You know, maybe you've been kidding yourself that this lifestyle you've been leading has been okay, but you're, re you're realising there's there was no fulfilment. Mm. Well, it, certainly you're going to get focused. I'm getting distance here for some of you. All right. But you're taking the initiative here. Despite any issues or complications between you, you're kind of really focused on sorting them out. You're making plans, you're taking action. There's a breakthrough here. The third party might be on the person you're dealing with, but there's a breakthrough here. It's coming now where you're getting ready to act. Maybe you've been ignoring this person or trying to ignore them, trying to ignore your feelings. Mm. it's been a struggle there's a history with this person it's turned things completely around I'm getting a repetitive cycle or the danger of a repetitive cycle but no you're breaking that chain you are going to face this I'm kind of getting you're facing this with a very very different attitude Oh, definite love there. Mm. Maybe you have a partner. Maybe the person you're dealing with has a partner. But uh, it's like over time, isn't nothing going to stop you? There isn't anything that isn't going to stop you two coming together. This is like you're trying to fight the universe, both of you or one of you, and the universe will have its way. Very much more sedate. Very, very much more sedate. And then you are in your element. You really are. Now you could be facing a Aquarius Libra Gemini. All right, but this you're gonna base this relationship right from the outset, lay it on the line. And this relationship is going to be based on honesty. What I'm getting all in the past is there was a lot of trust issues. It's like you couldn't trust each other. Mm. It's like your feelings were there. It didn't work out. It was a false start. In fact, I'm getting more than one false start. Um, whoever is responsible, there was a lack of trust here. Now, whether they couldn't trust you, you couldn't trust them whatever but it didn't work out the way you wanted it to it came to a climax you may be part of the ways you had time to think okay maybe you weren't prepared to give up your lifestyle maybe they weren't all right but there's a certain change of attitude here i'm picking up 
with you that cliche love conquers all Sarge what happened <laughs> Ooh. you might not tell this person how you truly feel but I'm kind of getting your actions will speak for themselves it's like they've been communicating or somebody who's been communicating and it's been ignored it's been denied and then all of a sudden there's like this wake up call here unsticking yourself there's travel involved for some of you but a sudden inspiration full of excitement full of go 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 I'm kind of getting this is, well, energetically, of course, whatever you decide to do is entirely up to you in your given situation. But energetically, it's going from very erratic, very impulsive to a much steadier, trustworthy relationship. The question is, do you want this or do you not? I'm going to leave it there, Saj. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now.